welcome again guys we are talking about different types of genetic mutation in human body and in this video we are going to talk about KRAS mutation what is KRAS mutation to understand KRAS mutation it is extremely important that you know the cellular growth signaling molecule I mean cellular growth signaling pathway right because there are different types of signaling pathway in our body and there is a kind of growth signaling pathway many growth signaling pathway but you should have the understanding of basic pathway and which is called as also the map kinase pathway so if you don't know what is map kinase pathway it's my recommendation that you go back to my youtube channel and you'll find the link of the map kinase pathway and you watch that video or i'm going to put that map kinase pathway link somewhere here in this uh, annotation so click that and watch that video first then come here and watch this but if you don't want to do that still I'll try to make you understand what is that so KRAS mutation you know KRAS first of all what is KRAS KRAS is a it's a gene definitely so KRAS is a gene and that is the function of that gene is a GTPS so it is called as RAS family GTPS RAS family GTPS gene that means that gene produces a protein which is called KRAS protein that proteins function is GTPS activity right this is very simple according to the name it is called RAS family GTPS now you need to understand the cell signaling pathway for cellular growth for example let's say this is a cell let's let let me draw this cell let's say this is a cell now the cell is having different receptor molecules this is a cell membrane and inside the cell we have you know nucleus which is a which is a very important section of the cell this is the nucleus right we all know that because the genes are actually present inside the nucleus which is controlling the whole activity of the overall cell so this gtp i mean this ras family gtps is a type of membrane embedded protein okay so this is embedded in the membrane that is the position of the protein and this is embedded by isoprenyl group so say it uh, this is ras right so it is embedded into the membrane by a isoprenyl isoprenyl group it is anchored into the membrane now this is the position of this protein and this is the whole cell now we are going to talk about the pathway with which the cell will receive signal to grow and divide okay for that definitely they require certain receptors because to catch a signal we require receptors right for example dish tv dish antenna we require dish tv to catch the signal so that we can watch television right so similar thing happens here also so here we have the receptor this is the receptor and this is called the growth receptor it is called the growth factor receptor growth factor receptor there are different kinds of growth factor present in our body which requires to function for those different types of growth factors there are different types of growth factor receptors for example one such growth factor is epidermal growth factor another example is platelet derived growth factor pdgf epidermal growth factor egf and so on for example we are talking about this epidermal growth factor right and the receptor for epidermal growth factor will be termed as epidermal growth factor receptor or egfr now what happens actually this egf or growth factor will come it will attach with this receptor there once attaching with the receptor it will provide the signaling and in that case it comes the importance of KRAS so the RAS will come and attach with the cytoplasmic section of the receptor and get the signal because remember there is a signal outside the cell and we need to do things inside the cell so definitely there should be someone 
who take the signal from outside and put it inside the cell. And this is a huge task. Once the signal molecules inside the cell, then the rest of the cell signaling pathway will go on pretty firmly, pretty easily inside the cytosol. And then finally, it will be conveyed to the nucleus and nucleus will decide to act upon that signal. Very, very basic. No confusion till now. Now, during this pathway, the, the molecule or the media which will receive the signal from outside and provide it into inside the cell is this RAS. There are different type of RAS molecules, KRAS, NRAS, like that. So, KRAS molecule will come and attach and this KRAS is a GTPase. So, it will break down GTP into GDP by the upon activation and that by that means what it does actually it transfer a phosphate group to one of the proteins inside and the proteins this RAS is going to activate majorly different types of proteins can be activated by RAS but one of them are PI3 kinase because you know kinases are one of the most important players of any types of cell signaling pathway inside because the ultimate goal for any cell signaling is first to receive the signal, second to relay the signal and third is to amplify the signal. Because if we get one signaling molecules and we relay one signal inside and we activate one molecule, one protein inside, that is not what we want. We want one signaling molecules, one RAS, 50 PI3K, 500 some other molecules intermediate and 50,000 other molecules which are desired. So, from 1 to 50,000. So, we need to amplify the signal, right? And that for amplification part, it comes down to PI3 kinase or kinase molecules to act. So, here we have RAS activated. It will activate PI3K or other proteins like PI3K there. I am giving one example of that. PI3K is now activated. Now, this kinase molecules will further activate other proteins. I am not going to tell you what are the other proteins. For, you, for your understanding, the whole pathway will be given. I am putting the link here, you watch those videos. So, PI3K is activated. Once the PI3K is activated, it will further activate other intermediate proteins in the cytosol. They are also kinases, different types of kinases. So, once all those kinases are activated, then finally, they will activate, they will go inside and finally, they will activate what is called a transcription factor or TF. Transcription factors are important molecules without which transcription cannot occur inside eukaryotic cells. It's not very easy like prokaryotes. So, transcription factors are required to actually recognize a particular section of the promoter because there are a lot of promoters in eukaryotic uh, chromosome. So, sit onto the actual targeted promoter and transcribe the gene of interest. And that thing is done will be transcription factor. So, that transcription factor will be activated and the transcription factor will sit on to a promoter. It will start producing mRNAs and then finally those mRNAs will be translated into proteins and they produce lot of cell, signal, cell division proteins like cyclines, cyclin G, cyclin F, cyclin A, cyclin D, cyclin C. So, lots of cyclin molecules start to generate because you know cyclin molecules are the key molecules for cell division and growth. So, it will start producing all those cyclin molecules or cell division molecules. And then finally, if once the concentration of those molecules start to increase inside the cell, they will have a crosstalk and finally, they will start doing all the process for the cell to divide and grow. So, the cell will start to in, go large and then the cell will divide again and again and again. And that is the whole process of cell division and growth. So, ultimately, it will cause the cell to divide. Cell division. This is the general function of the RAS. So, you can see the position of RAS and what RAS is doing here. Now, the problem with RAS. If there is any mutation present in the RAS here and the RAS will not become activated anymore, what will happen in that case? The thing will happen is that they will not recognize this epidermal growth factor anymore. Right? So, even if the epidermal growth factor is sitting onto the receptor, but RAS is functionless, RAS will not act properly and the process will be stopped and the cell will stop dividing. 
it will create certain problems because you know if we cells stop dividing tissue will not form and other functionalities will be not maintained but now think of due to any type of mutation in ras if ras becomes activated all the time so if ras is activated all times so is a super active so if the ras becomes super active that means it is activated all the time even if there is release of this epidermal one growth factor i mean there are certain times this ras need to control whether they need to relay the signal inside or not for example cell already divide couple of times and cell division is not required further still there is a presence of epidermal growth factor in that situation normal conditions ras should not relay the signal inside because cell is already divided but if the ras is super active what it will do it will relay the, relay the signal inside and cell will continuously divide and divide and divide without knowing that the cell division is already done sufficient times but the ras will be super active they are sending the signal cell dividing and dividing and dividing all the time and that makes you know more cell division compared to the normal super cell division ultimately leads to the production of remember tumor then it can be malig malignant tumor and then finally it can cause cancer you know malignant tumor it means cancer so that is the problem because you know ras have different domains inside it one domain is to interact with the cytoplasmic unit of the growth factor receptor another domain is to attach to the cell membrane second third domain which is the active side of the ras which is responsible for attaching with the gtp and fourth domain i mean uh, gtp binding domain and fourth domain is the activated domain so majorly four domains here so so they, if there is any problem with that gtp binding domain most of the time the problems related with cancer is a mutation in that gtp binding domain as a result normally what happens once the cell division is kind of completed and the whole process is completed the ras will have a conformational change right after the gtp hydrolysis ras should have a conformational change and it should kick the gdp out from the ras and the ras becomes inactive but due to certain mutation in ras that removal is not taken place it is always binding with the gtp and it is activating this pi3 kinase and other kinases all the time and it is creating the cell it is forcing the cell to divide and divide and divide again and again and again and to convert him into a malignant tumor or cancer right so that's all about ras but the mutation in the ras that we are talking about the mutation present in the ras it is due to a point mutation most of the time the mutation that we are talking about is again a point mutation that means a single base substitution occurs and that changes the activity of the ras okay but this type of mutation is entirely somatic it is not a germline mutation it should not be transferred from one generation to another generation right so that's kind of it guys and i hope that's helpful if you like this video there are more videos like this kraf mutation and other mutation videos watch the playlist i'm putting the links here and please subscribe and help us to grow the channel thank you